Very excited to talk to our next guest. UFC 260 is coming up this weekend. You got Stipe Miocic taking on France Ngannou for the heavyweight championship. But when oh. you're going to buy a pay-per-view, of course, you got to have the Sugar Show as part of it. And Sugar Sean O'Malley joins us here. Sugar Sean, are you uh, nervous? You're protecting your undefeated record coming into this. I know you uh, you mentioned this on Twitter. Very extra nerves trying to keep that out. No, it's uh, you know, it's same attitude, same mindset going into every fight. Um, you know, I'm 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 sure one of these days I'll lose, but you know, not anytime soon. How uh, how do you how do you picture yourself uh, taking on Thomas Almeida? How do you picture obliterating him? Um, I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna hurt him early. Um, my last three fights have ended in the first round. You know, you I, you know eight weeks of of training. So you know, hopefully he doesn't fall in the first. I'd like to take him out in the second. This uh, this is your first uh, your first fight coming up as a dad, man. Your 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 daughter completely adorable on 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 Instagram. You as a father, that's got to be unbelievably cool. Did it feel different at all? Like sure, like Papa Bear stuff in camp or anything like that, or any different feels uh, with your profession being a dad now. Uh, I, I've got asked that a lot. If I was more motivated for this fight going in, wanting to win more. Um, but really, it's like I want to win. Before I had a baby, I wanted to win bad you know now that i have a baby you know it's, it's the same i want to win every time i step in there so um it's cool it's been a good training camp it, you know you wake up and she's she's right there smiling giggling kind of you know just being cute so you wake up with a with a good mindset ready to go every day and it's been it's been really fun so you've been uh you've been keeping the family life with with fight like you didn't want to be isolated or anything like that to try and go back to uh, i guess what you were before you were dad no, I, I think two nights I slept in the, in, a, in the guest room because um, she was waking up a little bit. But but other than that, my sleep, you know, I track my sleep with the aura ring. Uh, my sleep's money. My sleep's on point. It's That's one of the main things that I prioritize in, in fight camp and, and out of fight camp, too, is my sleep. So, you know, she she's a really good baby. She got her mom's uh, genes in that, in that aspect, just being calm and just being, a, like, not a fucking spaz like me. So uh, she, she's been a good baby, and it's been easy. Not easy, but you well, know, not not too bad. Listen, man, it's never it's never easy, and it's ne it's ne it's never gonna get easier. But it's uh, I don't know. You look at them, you, you still love them. You, you know, you no yeah. matter no matter what, it'll it'll fill your heart, man. So, um, this upcoming fight, I'm sure you know, you're looking, you know, to 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 get back into the minds of the fans. You know, we haven't got to see you in action in a little bit. Uh, you're you know, this division's been on fire, bantamweight, and and you're one of the most famous faces in it. What was your reaction to what just happened with the championship fight? Uh, you had uh, Aljamain Sterling, Pietro Jan with the, uh, the the weird ending there. How did you take that all in? Yeah, uh, obviously, um, you know, I'm a fan of, of Aljo and a fan of Peter. Um, even more of a fan of Peter now. He, his performance was was awesome. I love his style. He's got a fucking sweet style. And I think uh, someday uh, Sugar vs. Peter is going to be a huge fucking fight. Um, whether it's for a title, whether it's just a main, whatever, it's going to be a huge fight. Um, huge fan of his. That 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 fight was sweet to watch. Aldo came out, um, came out really heavy, really fast, really aggressive, um, and, and gassed out a little bit. And, and Peter stayed composed, you know, and did what he does, and had badass boxing and fucking looked good. So that fight was sweet. Aljo's the champ now. Um, I think you know, obviously they're gonna rerun it. I think Peter Peter probably beats him unless Aljo comes comes in with a different. A uh, game plan, maybe not come out so fast. No, he's 25 minutes. He ain't gonna put Peter on the ground like he thought. Aljo probably thought he was gonna go in there, take Peter down, beat beat his ass. But you know that that wasn't the case. So maybe going into a rematch would be better for Aljo. Uh, but I'm excited um, to watch how that plays out. You got a, you got like a uh, a timeline in your mind about like how long you think it should take for you to get into the title picture? Is, is do you do you have do you think about that kind of stuff now, or is it all just kind of getting getting through this one? Yeah, I, th I think even before my last fight, you know, I knew fighting's crazy, anything can happen, but I still kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do in the future. Um, but just going through that last fight, anything can happen. Um, you know, it, it, fighting's crazy. So I'm focused on Thomas Almeida, March 27th, Saturday night. That's that's all that's on my mind, not anything else. Um, I'm focused on Thomas. And uh, after I get through Thomas, it's always like, who's next? But that, that, we'll figure out who's next after. Sean, uh, number number one superhero in your mind? Sugar Show. Uh, we're looking forward to this uh, this upcoming this upcoming fight. This is uh, this is a fun one. Obviously, you got you know the heavyweight championship of the world. 
you uh, you always bring uh, bring an excellent uh, an excellent dynamic to every single every single car. We're we gonna see something wild. Like have you have you been thinking that this is uh, th there's gonna be something even new unleashed that you see? Because you put on the show, man. Like your 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 knockouts are not just knockouts. Like they're 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 viral. They're show stoppers. All that type of stuff. Yeah, you know I'm definitely going in there for ready for a 15 minute war. Almeida is a legitimate opponent. He's he's got really high level striking. Um, but yeah, I, I plan on taking him out in spectacular fashion. I, I think that you know every single fight, no matter if it's going to be against a grappler, a good striker like Thomas, um, you know, in my head I see a, a good spectacular knockout. Um, that's what I live for. I don't. If, if he sh if he came in and shot into a guillotine and I subbed him in a minute, I'd stand up and be like, "Fuck, man!" Like I would be happy. I'd be jacked. I got double check. I got I got to finish. I got to. I'd be I'd be happy. But I want that knockout. I want. I want that shit to go viral. I want a knockout that's going to that drop people's jaws and just be like, what the fuck just happened? Well, looking forward to it, man. Go buy UFC 260 on ESPN Plus this upcoming weekend. Stipe Miocic versus Francis Ngannou is the main event. You also got Sugar Sean Malley taking on Thomas Almeida, and he always puts on an excellent show, man. Thank you so much for spending time with us, man. Uh, congratulations on becoming a dad, and uh, we look forward to watching the rest of your career. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate it.